The Role of Oxytocin in Mental and Emotional Health What is the role of oxytocin in mental health? Oxytocin is a hormone and neurotransmitter that plays an important role in mental health. It is often referred to as the love hormone or cuddle hormone because it is released during social bonding activities such as hugging, kissing, and cuddling. Here are some ways in which oxytocin is involved in mental health. 1. Social bonding. Oxytocin is released during social bonding activities, which can help strengthen social relationships and improve social support. This can help reduce feelings of loneliness and improve mental health. 2. Stress reduction. Oxytocin can help reduce the release of stress hormones such as cortisol. This can help reduce stress and anxiety, which can have a positive impact on mental health. 3. Anxiety. Oxytocin has been shown to reduce anxiety in people with social anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and generalized anxiety disorder, GAD. This is thought to be due to its ability to reduce the activity in the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that is involved in fear and anxiety. 4. Depression. Oxytocin may also have a role in treating depression. Studies have shown that administering oxytocin to people with depression can help improve symptoms of depression, including feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and worthlessness. 5. Emotional regulation. Oxytocin has been shown to improve emotional regulation, which can help reduce mood swings and improve overall emotional well-being. Overall, oxytocin plays an important role in mental health by promoting social bonding, reducing stress and anxiety, and improving emotional regulation. However, it is important to note that oxytocin is not a cure-all for mental health conditions and should be used in conjunction with other treatments such as therapy and medication when necessary. What are some potential negative side effects of oxytocin? While oxytocin is generally considered to have a positive impact on mental health, there are some potential negative side effects that have been associated with its use. Here are some examples. 1. Overattachment. In some cases, the release of oxytocin can lead to overattachment or dependence on others. This can manifest as clinginess or a fear of separation, which can ultimately have a negative impact on mental health and relationships. 2. Trust issues. While oxytocin is often associated with trust and bonding, it can also lead to trust issues if it is released in situations where trust is not warranted. For example, if a person is given oxytocin in a research study, they may be more likely to trust the researcher even if there is no reason to do so. 3. Unwanted social responses. Oxytocin can lead to increased social behaviors, such as increased eye contact and verbal communication. However, in some situations, these behaviors may be unwanted or inappropriate, which can lead to social awkwardness or discomfort. 4. Memory recall. Oxytocin has been shown to improve memory recall, but in some cases, this can have negative consequences. For example, if a person has experienced a traumatic event, the release of oxytocin may enhance their memory of the event, which can lead to increased anxiety and distress. 5. Ethical Concerns The use of oxytocin as a treatment for mental health conditions raises ethical concerns. For example, some researchers have suggested that the use of oxytocin to treat social anxiety disorder may be a form of cosmetic pharmacology that is not addressing the root cause of the disorder. It's important to note that the potential negative side effects of oxytocin are generally mild and rare. Most people experience the positive effects of oxytocin without any adverse effects. However, it is always important to talk to a healthcare professional before using any new treatments or medications. What are ways to increase oxytocin? There are several ways to naturally increase oxytocin levels in the body. Here are some examples. 1. Physical touch. Physical touch, such as hugging, cuddling, or holding hands, can increase oxytocin levels. This can also include activities like massage or gentle touching. 2. Socializing. 
spending time with friends and loved ones can increase oxytocin levels. This can include activities like going out to eat, attending social events, or just having a conversation with someone you care about. 3. Meditation Meditation and deep breathing exercises can help reduce stress and increase oxytocin levels. This can be particularly effective when practiced regularly. 4. Laughter Laughing can increase oxytocin levels, so watching a funny movie or spending time with friends who make you laugh can be a great way to naturally boost oxytocin levels. 5. Exercise Exercise can also increase oxytocin levels. This can include activities like running, biking, or swimming, as well as low-impact activities like yoga or Pilates. 6. Listening to music Listening to music can increase oxytocin levels, particularly if the music is calming or soothing. 7. Eating certain foods Some foods, such as dark chocolate, nuts, and seeds, can increase oxytocin levels. This is thought to be due to their high content of certain nutrients, such as magnesium and tryptophan. It's important to note that while these activities can help increase oxytocin levels, they should not replace any prescribed medication or therapy for mental health conditions. It's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your mental health treatment plan. What are some psychological interventions to raise oxytocin? Yes, there are psychological interventions that have been shown to increase oxytocin levels. Here are some examples. 1. Mindfulness-based interventions. Mindfulness-based interventions, such as mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, and mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, have been shown to increase oxytocin levels. These interventions involve training the mind to focus on the present moment and increase awareness of thoughts and feelings. 2. Cognitive behavioral therapies such as CBT and REBT, these therapies help individuals change negative thought patterns and behaviors. It has been shown to increase oxytocin levels in individuals with anxiety and depression. 3. Social support interventions Interventions that focus on improving social support, such as support groups or group therapy, have been shown to increase oxytocin levels. This is likely due to the social bonding that occurs in these types of interventions. 4. Positive psychology interventions. Positive psychology interventions, such as gratitude exercises and acts of kindness, have been shown to increase oxytocin levels. These interventions focus on promoting positive emotions and behaviors. 5. Animal-assisted therapy. Animal-assisted therapy involves interacting with animals, such as dogs or horses, as a form of therapy. It has been shown to increase oxytocin levels in individuals with anxiety and depression. It's important to note that while these interventions can be effective in increasing oxytocin levels, they should not replace any prescribed medication or therapy for mental health conditions. It's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your mental health treatment plan. For information about Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, REBT, check out the website of the Albert Ellis Institute at www.albertellis.org or email the institute at info at albertellis.org. During business hours you may also call 2125350822. Have a great day!